We're out here in the graveyard. This old graveyard right here. Got some old, this, is, this place has history. Where's that Confederate grave? Oh, it's over there. Let's see if it is Confederate. <laughs> see, this is a Confederate grave right here. It is uh, William C. Couch. Colonel Alabama Cavalry CSA. Wow, wow. <laughs> that's cool. Another one. Uh, Harvey Couch, Alabama Private 20, 20th SUP, Tennessee, 20th Division, January 26, 1938. I guess that's when he he died, or I don't know, or he's in World War One or something. Yeah, look at this one. This guy was a private W. G. Leach, born October sixteenth, eighteen eighty-two, killed in the World War, October sixth, nineteen eighteen. That is, it's sad, but it's cool. First Lieutenant John M. McDermott, uh, COH, 19, Tennessee Infantry CSA, March 5th, 1845 to October 30th, 1924. He, he lived through the Civil War too. He made it home. Morrow Cemetery, Morgan County. The Morrow Cemetery is a burial site for many members of the Morrow family. Robert and Jane Hayden Morrow moved to Alabama from South Carolina in 1817 and were among the first settlers in what is now Morgan County. Jane Payton Morrow is recognized as a true heroine of the American Revolution for her actions mm. during the battle of Old 96 in South Carolina. Oh. Jane and her sister drove a horse-drawn wagon into an active battlefield, onto an active battlefield, to retrieve injured soldiers that were credited with saving the lives of the Americans. Robert Morrow, who served in the 3rd South Carolina Regiment during the American Revolution, was the first Morrow to be buried here in 1820. Also interred is Jane, interred is Jane, Jean <laughs> Dinsmore Morrow, daughter of James Dinsmore, an American Revolutionary soldier. She was mother to five Civil War sol soldiers. Wow. Additionally, members of the Beavers, Donaldson, Ray, Cooper, Garrison, Morris, Ormay families were buried here. Jane Payton Morrow, Robert Morrow, and Jean Dinsmore Morrow were memorialized by the Dripping Springs DAR DAR on July 13th, 1975. That is cool. Right, this is the graveyard right here. We can't get in. They got the gate locked, so we can't get in. But uh, there's a John T. Cooper Look, that looks like a mason sign, don't it? Oh, yeah. Is that? That looks like a mason sign. Wow. John T. Cooper, born May 31st, 1841, died April 30th, 1909. Wow. And then we got, uh, what's this? 
Hennett. Hennett. Henrietta. Henrietta, wife of J.T. Cooper, January 11th, 1817, December 9th, 1899. She was the sunshine of our home. Wow. <laughs> and then back there we got Anne Elizabeth. April 11th, 1838, April 26th, 1918, son of Simi M, daughter Corrine. Can you see what that says on the bottom right there? Uh, died in infancy. Oh, okay. oh, that's sad. And then we got something right here. Maudie M., daughter of J.T. and A.H. Cooper, born 1882, May 18, 1884. Short, short pain, short, uh, grief. Short pain, short grief. What? Can you read that? I can't sit. Short pain, short grief, mm -hmm. dear babe, thine, now joy is eternal and divine. Oh, mm -hmm. sad. But that's all I can see right now, so. There's the history lesson for today. Bunch of diggers. And also Kara over there. We are at a graveyard. An old one. There is daughter of Hezekiah Frost. 1858-1859. She's just a baby. And then there's another baby. Burden, Burn Frost, 1870, 1873. Hmm. And then some up here. Here's some more. These are not 1847, 1928, 1853, 1908. Oh, they rest in unmarked graves in Vance, Mississippi. Wow. James Knox Polk Henderson and Nancy Jane Stringer Henderson. Wow. And another one in memory of Isaac B. Jackson, private company K-19. I guess that's how you uh, Mississippi Infantry, Confederate States Army, 1830, 1862. He died in the war. Wow. And another one, um, Joseph Allison Private, Company H-12, Alabama Infantry, Confederate States. January 18th, 1842, April 15th, 1921. And then over here is some uh, Allison. Uh, I can't read all that. Joseph and Catherine. 1778 to 1845. 1774, 1851. And wow. They, they, these people have a lot, there's a lot of names on here with a lot of dates. Yeah. You sure they weren't in mass grave? This could be your mass grave day. <laughs> this could be the mass grave, y'all. Yeah. 
what? Well, it's good here. Well, it's 30 miles east of this spot. Lewis Johnson died October 1855, aged 49. What's that say? Lies 30, Lies 30 miles of this spot, east of this spot. Ain't that something? That grave over there, the people are in Mississippi. Yeah. And Sarah Johnson died September uh, 19th, 18, what's that? 87. 87. Aged 83 years. And does she lie in the in the grave east of the spot too? I can't see what it says there. Yeah. <laughs> Nineteen eighty eight. Mm-hmm. So they erased that tombstone in memory of their ancestors. Oh, nineteen eighty eight. Oh. Confederate War though is. Yeah. You're gonna get away from Luca. Does it uh do you know what that one says? What? You're gonna get away from me? Why? Huh? <laughs> what does that say? It says 1860 something to 1860 something. S.W. Uh, I don't know if I can make up her last name. Of John and L.H. Derrick. Born 1861. Died January 1862. Oh, another period. Um, 1863 and died. 